Today I want to talk about automated bidding. I think it's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with is how to manage bids and whether to um, let Google do it for them. Um, so I thought I, I'd do a quick video, first of all, showing you how you would use the target CPA um, bid strategy. So first of all, a little kind of taking a step back, we when we when we talk about target CPA, overall these these are known as what they what Google terms as smart bidding strategies. Okay, so smart bidding is where you allow the Google's machine to use the data it, it has to influence your bids. Um, there's you there are there are lots of different types of smart bidding, one of which is target CPA. So what happens with target CPA is that you tell Google how much you want to pay for a conversion and then it will go away and do its best to get you as many conversions as it can for at or below that target cost per conversion CPA cost or cost per acquisition actually. There are a couple of caveats with set with using these um, smart bidding tools you have to already have conversions in your account. So in order for Google to have the data that it needs to make the decisions about the bidding, it has to see at least, well, I think they say, I think these days it's, they say 30, but I mean, really, if you can have sort of 50 conversions in a month, at least in your account, so that Google has the data it needs to see uh, who's going to convert and who are the best people that are likely to convert when it's showing an ad and it's, it's, um, it's sort of placing your ad and doing the bidding. Um, so that's number one. If you don't have um, if you don't have conversion tracking set up, you can't use these this target target CPA bidding anyway. So if you don't have enough um, enough conversions, then it's probably not going to work too well either. But what I'm going to do first of all here is just show you where you need to go in order to set that up. So in your once you go into your um, go into your campaign, and then you'll go to settings, and then you'll see an option here which says bidding. So at the moment we've got this one set to manual CPC. I'm going to hit change bid strategy. And then you're going to click this down here, which says select a bid strategy directly. And when you click the down arrow, these are all the different ones that you can um, choose. I'm not going to go into every single one of these at the moment. We can, um, most of them are kind of self-explanatory. Um, you can target a, the position on the page. Um, you can target. You, you can set bids to outrank somebody else so if you've always got a competitor that you always want to appear higher than them you can use this strategy maximize conversions obviously that's getting you as many conversions as possible maximize clicks getting you as many clicks as possible if, if any if there are any that you don't use make sure it's that one because i mean really it's just giving google free reign to spend as much money as it likes to just get you any traffic whatever kind of traffic Target ROAS, ROAS stands for return on ad spend, so this would be for e-commerce businesses. The one we're going to choose is target CPA. And this is where you set your target CPA. Um, so let's say £22, I, this, that's how much I want to spend for each conversion. And then you'll just hit save and then that will go away and it will um, work on this. Um, and then it will go and try and get as many conversions as possible for that amount, <clears throat> for that figure. Now, <clears throat> if you do want to test this, and it's well worth testing, if you've got some campaigns that are running nicely and you're getting good conversions, it's well worth testing this. But what I would recommend that you do is use an experiment. So don't just change your whole campaign over to target CPA, like, you know, one day, and then because it can sometimes not do very well. So you don't want your whole campaign to suddenly kind of die a death. 
which there is the potential for that to happen. <clears throat> so what I would highly recommend that you do is to create um, a draft campaign from your existing campaign, then create an experiment and set the target CPA in the experiment. Um, and then you can choose how much, I, I'll do another video showing you how to set up an experiment, but you can maybe send half your traffic to the experiment with the target CPA and half your traffic to the original campaign, which is still have, has whatever bidding method that you're using. Okay, so that's how you set up target CPA on a Google Ads account. Don't forget uh, to subscribe to my to the channel and head over to Facebook if you want to come and find the One-Eyed Cat online marketing page. Um, and there's also um, we have a link in the description of the video as well if you want to come and join our free Facebook group, um, which is aimed at helping e-commerce businesses who just, you know, you can ask, ask me anything about um, Google Shopping, Google Ads, um, and I'll do my best to answer in there. Take care now.